bounce back off of a tough loss last week. Uh, we, we, we had a really good week of practice. Uh, had, had full faith that our guys, you know, would not let last week's loss bleed into this week. And, and uh, they had a great week of practice, as I mentioned, and, and started off the game really well. Uh, we got to do a better job finishing games, but uh, was really pleased with our uh, our special teams, in particular our punt return unit scored, set up a short field, and then our, our defense I thought played outstanding for most of the, big, the game. Uh, you know, Wyoming we knew was a gritty team, well coached. Uh, they've got you know really uh, good competitive quarterbacks that uh, you know gave themselves a chance in the second half, and uh, our guys withstood the challenge and. And, and played well enough to win. So we're happy, and uh, with that, we'll answer any questions. Is there anything in particular that helps you guys uh, perform better at home? You know, 30 Yeah, it's called the Red Wave. I mean, the, our guys love going down the ramp. Uh, our guys get juice off, off the crowd, and, and uh, you know, I thought our, our, our crowd really affected our guys. Um, I think especially, you know, defensively, when you play with emotion, you want that crowd behind you. Offensively, we get into a rhythm, and, and our crowd gets behind us. And, and I thought, you know, we just we just play well off of that. And you held them to only one rushing yard, and I believe they didn't convert a first down, uh, uh, convert a third down in the first half. They missed their first ten. Uh, you know, what were you guys doing that was uh, so effective early on against? Well, I, you know, I think our defense staff does a really good job of analyzing strengths and weaknesses of an offense. Uh, we had a, we had a good plan, and uh, our guys executed that plan. Uh, you know, our, our our guys played with a lot of energy today, and you know, I thought we were really stout against the run, uh, against a scheme that spreads you out and can make big plays. And, you know, a week ago, you know, they made a bunch of big plays, and we, we limited those. We gave up one explosive pa pass play. Uh, until the, until the end of the game, where you know we had we had you know our twos and threes and anything in particular that you were keen on that that led to you know such production early on. No, I, I think it was just a matter of uh, you know having having a good game plan going in, and our and our guys did a really good job of executing. They played played at a high level. Uh, Coach uh, Rashad Evans, he had a 78-yard punt return. Um, what are your thoughts on this play tonight? Uh, you know, Rashad did a great job on that, but uh, there was a bunch of guys that were sustaining blocks along the way. Uh, you got to have a guy special like Rashad to set up blocks and you know sometimes make guys miss on his own. Uh, but there was a lot of guys on, on that play that, that helped spring that, and, and then come right back and I, I don't forget how long the second punt return was. I don't know. It was it was a pretty good one that, that set up you know a real short one I think one play drive. Uh, he's he's definitely a weapon for us and. Uh, uh, we, we were happy to see him actually get in the end zone. And uh, what did that do for your uh, momentum? Well, anytime you can score off special teams, it, it's tough for, I think, you know, a team on the other side of the, of the ball to, to recover from. Uh, it could be a devastating blow, whether you block a punt, you know, can can be, you know, something that's a tough setback. You score on a, on a special teams play, it, it's it's a blow to the gut for the other team. And, and uh, it's something that obviously got our crowd into it and got our guys, you know, jacked up. Do you like the way the offense performed tonight? Uh, in the first half, we, we, we did some good things, but, but we got sloppy about the midway through the second quarter, uh, through the finish of the game. We have got to do a better job of finishing. And I mean, there's, there's, there's a fine line between being intense enough to execute and have the timing and everything go right and letting up just a little bit and th things aren't going to be perfect. So we, we've got to, you know, I told our coaches in the locker room, we've got, we've got to take a critical look at it why that's happening and, and get it cleaned up. Is that about the offensive line play with uh, you know, Richard moving over to center and Jim Bell getting his first start? Um, you know, we, we're a little bit of a work in progress there. Uh, I think James did some good things. Uh, it's hard sometimes during the flow of the game to, to see inside what's actually happening. We'll, we'll find out and I'll let you know on Monday. You know, when I can watch the actual tape and see the end zone copy. You spelled uh, the offense the flow a little better though. You know, of course, in the second quarter, they, they picked it up, but talking about Derek holding the ball a little bit more, is that more offensive line, the receivers getting covered, or do you think just Derek just holding on to a little bit more? It's, it's always a combination of things. Um, you know, on a given play, sometimes he, he held on the ball too long. Other times, we wanted to step up into the pocket, and he did, and, and the pocket collapsed around him. We've got to be more stout on the edges. So uh, it's, it, it's not just one thing.
Talk about Victor Dean. Look a little more comfortable in the open field today. He uh, he's getting better every week. He's practicing harder. Um, you know, he's he's getting more opportunities on Saturday because he's practicing Monday through Thursday harder, uh, and, it's, and it's reflecting in his play. And, and so I'm, I'm pleased to see him step up. And uh, I think Derek's getting more and more confidence getting him the ball because he's he's making more plays. One more question for Coach. Because you guys had two more turnovers, one of them for a touchdown that set a school record. You know, uh, takeaways. I'm sorry. Um, the touchdowns for interceptions for touchdowns is now a score record with five uh -huh. for this year. So, did you ever envision this going in that, that the defense would be able to create this many this early on? You know, transfer transform it this quickly. Yeah, I mean, we, we we talked about it from day one. You know, that, that that's how we have to improve in this defense, and I think we have two things. We got defense coaches that do a great job of teaching scheme and anticipation. Uh, and we got players who execute it. You know, guys like Phillip do, do a great job within the scheme. And, uh, you know, if you throw the ball around him, he's, he's going to make you pay sometimes. And it was, it was good to see. All right, let's let Coach go. And